Hello there. This is where the fun begins. What's up guys, unofficial Star Wars here. I hope you're all doing well, and well, what an exciting, busy past weekend it has been, especially for Star Wars Day, may the 4th be with you. There have been a lot of new reveals. Specifically and especially for the upcoming The Acolyte, we're going to go ahead and discuss all about it in today's video. We're going to go ahead and we're going to hop right on into it. Before we do though, however, grab that subscribe button if you haven't already, as we're discussing and covering all types of Star Wars related news, leaks, rumors, theories, and breakdowns here on the channel. So if you guys are into any of that, go ahead and grab that subscribe button today. Okay, so in this video we are going to be taking a quick read from one of my favorites out there, StarWarsNewsSet.com. I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well as an overall garnering source. With one more month to go before the Acolyte officially finally hits Disney+, Plus, Lucasfilm is headlining May the 4th, a with a brand new trailer for the show, as by which we already have our reaction video out here on the channel as well. I have such a blast recording and making those videos. They've also shared a new poster and a bit of a sneak peek of the behind the scenes for the Acolyte as well. And not that I think it has changed, but for those of you that maybe aren't familiar with it, the official synopsis of the series itself as reads as follow, In the Acolyte, an investigation into a shocking crime spree pits a respectful Jedi Master, played by Lee Jung Jae, against a dangerous warrior from his past, played by Amanda Steinberg. As more clues begin to emerge, they travel down a dark path, where sinister forces reveal all is what it not seems to be. Ending that quote right there. And then also, several other members of the cast were at CCXP in Mexico hosting a panel of by which they gave out some new reveals. They also gave out an exclusive poster to those in attendance. Something else I should have mentioned from the get-go at the beginning of this video is that I will have another video here on the channel and a little bit later discussing in more detail and in more depth as a full-on official trailer breakdown slash easter eggs and overall review here on the, the channel going into more detail and in more depth of the actual trailer itself. Itself. This video is really just acting as an overview of all of the new details that have been revealed just this past weekend alone of the Acolyte. Also, not just this, but with the first trailer that was revealed just a couple of weeks ago, roughly about a month ago, Lucasfilm also confirmed a few other character details too on top of that. That's something that I think that this past new official trailer that was just revealed on May the 4th had really done, is that it didn't really reveal the characters all so much, it revealed more of the actual stories of what was going on into this actual show itself. Like, what is this show really about? Who are these characters? So, as follows, Amanda Steinberg plays a character named May, who gets swept up into a sinister mystery, one that puts her into the center of a conflict in unexpected ways. Lee Jung Jae plays Master Soul, a wise, highly respectful, powerful Jedi Master, strong in the ways of the Force, who is going through some type of an emotional conflict during this time, as it would appear that Mei is his former Padawan. Manny Jacinto plays Quimir, a former smuggler who now makes his living as a traitor, procuring unusual things and enjoying a life of simple leisure, but he may know a thing or two, and that's why our characters go to him for help. Carrie Anna Mas plays Master Andara, a Jedi Master of great physical and mental skill. Dean Charles Chapman plays Master Torben. Character specifics haven't been actually disclosed about his character all that much, but we do know that he takes on the rank of an actual Jedi Master, so, well, we do have that now. Junas Sutamo plays Jedi Master Kalanaka, a loner who lives a solitary life, the Wookiee Jedi to say the least that will be appearing in flashbacks and also within the present time uh, of both of where the accolade is taking place. Jodie Turner-Smith plays Mother Anisia, the leader of a coven of witches who value their independence and their preservation of their beliefs and simple powers. They're essentially this new idea of the Night Sisters, if not like the kind of like pre-existing Night Sisters. Like if for anything, the Night Sisters that we know from the Clone Wars animated show and also from the Ahsoka Disney Plus show would have maybe potentially came from these witches or this coven of witches uh, pretty much. I'm honestly actually really looking forward to seeing this Coven of Witches. We got a little bit sneak peek of some of their abilities in the trailer itself. Not only does this show remind me of the prequels in a way, but it honestly also reminds me of the Clone Wars animated show. Like as if they took some of those different stories from the Clone Wars animated show and decided to bring it into live action almost. That's just how creative and kind of insane this overall Acolyte show feels thus far, and I'm really looking forward to it. Continuing on, Charlie, Charlie Barnett plays 
plays a character named Yard Farndar, a Jedi Knight and guardian from the Jedi Temple, is an overachiever and a royal follower. His need to be by the book Jedi can also cloud his mind at times as well. Daphne Keen plays Jedi Padawan Jackie Lon, the Padawan apprentice to Master Soul. Although she is young, she projects calm and conducts herself with maturity, looking up to her Jedi Master as well and simply wanting to please him. And lastly, Rebecca Henderson plays Varnasya Rao, an elder Jedi Master who has ascended the ranks of the Jedi from a teenage prodigy to a leader within the Order. She also appears within the High Republic novels and books. Which does remind me one thing that I'm super excited about, and really a main big reason why I'm really excited about the Acolyte, is this whole idea of that it's not dealing with characters that we've known or seen before. It's a completely new era, completely new characters, completely new uh, of a story overall here, and it's even some new locations as well. And I have mentioned this plenty of times in and out of many of our different Acolyte videos here on the channel. I think I also mentioned it in our reaction video for this new official trailer of the Acolyte of that we haven't had a project like this since the mandalorian and i know that sounds strange but in comparison when you look back on it the mandalorian was all new characters and a new kind of era that we haven't seen before and new locations as well were kind of being introduced in there as well yet new and familiar of course and well the acolyte is doing that same exact thing all new characters dealing with a couple of new locations a whole new story and a whole new era that we just haven't seen before and if for anything must i say i think that the acolyte will be able to do this and pull the us off even a little bit more better because at the time the Mandalorian and that it's not a bad thing but it also does have that opportunity to bring up other characters like Luke Skywalker, Ahsoka Tano, Bo-Katan, Boba Fett, characters that we've known or have seen before of course and in this case the Acolyte just doesn't have the opportunity maybe it could bring out you know Chewbacca or Yoda but other than that those are the only characters. Anyway of course I'm really looking forward to the Acolyte I would love to hear what you guys are all thinking in the comments down below. This news trailer honestly has me pretty hyped. The first one was alright, being honest with you guys. This newest trailer even looks like way, way better. Makes the overall show look a lot more fun and exciting and just way more amazing. I really can't wait for it. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one. May the force be with you as always. Peace out.